Hello, my name is Pedro. In this quick video, I will show you how to have a virtual MIDI keyboard in older Pro Tools versions so you can use your computer keyboard to play MIDI. Since the 2021.3 version, this feature is available in Pro Tools. You can find it if you go to Window and then it should be located here, named as MIDI Keyboard, just before Task Manager. If you have an older version of Pro Tools, you will need a workaround. So, in that case, Go to this website, check the link in the description and download the software. It's free, it only takes 3 megabytes and doesn't need to be installed. You can find the download here. After downloading it, you can drag and drop just the application into your desktop. You don't need to keep the other files. Then run the application. If you press on your computer keyboard, you should see the input being displayed. So if I press ASD, you can see a MIDI note being played as well. In order to route this virtual MIDI keyboard into Pro Tools, you will need a virtual MIDI cable. Go to this website and download this app. Check the link in the description. It's free and it only takes 7 megabytes. Once installed, you just open the app. You don't need to change the settings. Now let's go to Pro Tools. I already have this session open, but you will need to restart Pro Tools so it can recognize the virtual MIDI cable. We need an audio track for the VST and a MIDI track to receive the MIDI from the keyboard. I have this VST inserted in the audio track. Now let's set the inputs and outputs. For the MIDI input, I will assign the MIDI loop that we installed before. And for the output, the VST that is inserted in the audio track. For the audio track, I don't need any input. And for the output, it's just my stereo monitor output. Let's enable the MIDI track. Open the MIDI keyboard that we download before. Make sure on instrument you have loop MIDI port assigned. And then it should play. By default, if the application is in the background, it won't play when you press on your computer keyboard. So, go to Options and enable Background Input Mode and then it should play in the background. This virtual MIDI keyboard is not available for Mac, but if you Google it, you should find alternatives. On Mac, there is no need to install the virtual MIDI cable. If you go to Audio MIDI Setup, use the IAC driver. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful and see you on the next one.